All right, guys, everything looks good. How's the view? Everything's pretty good, right? Yeah, I don't know. It's the first time I'm filming in this like POV style. I've seen uh, different YouTubers try it and actually like the layout of it. The video is gonna be about why or how I got into the V6 platform. I already get a bunch of crap, guys, because I do drive a V6 Mustang. No matter what mods, no matter how it sounds, no matter how much horsepower you're ever gonna pull, V8 owners, GT owners will always hate V6. Like owners like always like they will always well they won't possibly like you can say hate but they will always like trash talk the v6 owners and i get it i mean the horsepower is like crazy compared to the v8s and the sound is way different and stuff like that and obviously there's much more respect on the v8 platform but uh yeah guys the way i got into getting the v6 is uh it all started when uh in high school I was never really into cars, guys. Um, I was into like the whole NASCAR thing when I was a lot younger, but I never got into like, I guess like modifying and stuff like that. And uh, all of a sudden in high school, I wanted a Camaro. I really don't know why, but uh, I did get into the whole car scene after that, like looking into cars and I did want a Camaro. And speaking of Camaros, there's like one right next to me. I don't know if he's gonna line up. It's an RS. Let's see if he lines up. Nah. And the first car I ever wanted was a Camaro. It was in high school. My mom told me, hey, you graduate with an associate's degree in high school with my college degree because I was taking college classes. I will buy you, uh, me and your dad will buy you a Camaro. I was like, sounds awesome. I finished high school. I got my associates. Obviously, it takes time looking to a Camaro. I mean, or to any vehicle, you need to get the down payment. You need to look for good prices and all that good stuff. They let me their car for the meanwhile. And so I obviously I got my car. I was going to college. And I don't know, about a few months into college, I was involved in an accident. I was texting and driving, and I rear-ended this truck, like, going at 45, 50 miles an hour at a red light. If you guys are young, and you guys love to drive and text, like, don't do it, guys. It, it's a serious issue that they always talk about in school and all over the billboards and signs and all this stuff. It was a really bad impact for me, guys. Like, um, it could have been life-threatening. Oh, I mean, oh, that car crash was life-threatening for me in the way of how the speed I was going, like the whole velocity and how bad I hit the truck. It was a truck and like barely like a little ding like came out of the truck. It was like an F-150 and my car looked like an accordion, guys. It was really, really, really bad. I was freaked out. All I remember was opening my eyes, seeing smoke, all the airbags all over. I came out okay, guys, thank God. Just a uh, good cut chin and like uh, my my body was sore from, that, from the accident, from the whiplash. But my parents denied me the Camaro after that. I was irresponsible and I, I mean, I'm okay with it i was pissed off but now that i'm older i obviously see why they punished me that way so i didn't get the camaro two uh, about a year maybe two passed no about a year passed and then i wanted a car my parents were like you know what you want your own car you're gonna have to pay you're, you're gonna have to pay your own car the camaro was gonna get paid on my parents throughout college until i got my bachelor so i mean it was a, a good situation for me at that point but since i did get in the accident my parents are like, gonna have to pay for the vehicle I was like, okay, whatever. I really wanted a sports car. At that point, I didn't care what sports car I wanted, guys. I wanted either a Hyundai Genesis, I wanted a Camaro, I wanted a Challenger, I wanted a Mustang. Whatever fit a coupe, whatever was two doors, guys, I wanted. For some reason, I think my friends were into the Mustangs, or we were looking into Mustangs. They came across the American Muscle page, and I saw, like, everything you guys could, like, do to a Mustang, all the modifications and stuff. And at that point, I was like, you know what? I'm getting a Mustang like that's the car that I want like it's gonna be a Mustang for sure without a doubt so I started like being on the search for Mustangs and at that point guys I'm telling you guys right now I didn't know the difference between a GT or a V6 me and my dad never talked about like cars we're, we're more into sports I was into baseball and football and stuff like that so sports runs in our family cars doesn't really so i don't know the difference between a v6 and a v8 i didn't know anything about exhaust i didn't know about intakes and suspension nothing guys i could have seen y'all could have passed like drove by me in the streets with the like most modified vehicle and i would not have turned twice to look at that car i would have just ignored it it would just flown by and i would have not paid attention to it whatever whatsoever obviously it was like a lamborghini or something like that i would see in the streets i know what a lamborghini was so i would turn it like oh wow lamborghini but camaros mustang anything i didn't even know the difference back then until i started looking into it all i knew how to do guys was uh put gas in my car 
and on my Saturn Aura that my parents did lend me at the time, all I put was like, uh, they screwed me over guys. I paid $800 for installation and uh, the whole set of subwoofers and speakers on my car. And I mean, although it did sound nice, that was like the only mod with some like interior lighting that, that we did and uh, a few plastic dip stuff here and there after searching for a mustang guys for like a year i'm not even lying my parents like well, obviously were, um i didn't have credit at the time i barely even had like a, like a college credit card so my, my we put the car under my dad's name this car is under my dad's name but i do pay it guys so guys i went around different dealerships took me about a year to like find something that i actually liked and i came across this white mustang it was like 18,000 it's a premium v6 2012 but uh it had like a few issues here and there with the paint and like a few dents so my dad was like no not this one then i came across a v6 2012 black mustang for twelve thousand dollars at a dealership they, they said it was so cheap because it's been there for like the longest time like it just never sold it's been sitting at a dealership for like three months i think they said and they, they were selling at 12 grand so i end up asking my dad let's go let's go right in the morning when i heard when i saw the price on, on, on the internet on the website i get there around noon and the car was sold it was driving off as we speak as soon as i got there the car was literally driving off the guy was like oh you're here to see that car like yeah like that's it it's leaving we just sold it and i was like dang all right he's like but we do have that one which was this baby right here my red candy mustang and they did have one other car that they had just traded in guys like they had traded in the, like the day before they hadn't like detailed it no maintenance nothing the guy's like i do have that one it still has to go through inspection and whatnot and i was like hey I'll, I'll take it like i'll take it i'll take it I'll take it. i didn't even test drive it oh before saying i'll take it obviously um we test drove it we checked it out everything checked good there was like no issues with the car at the time so like i'll, I'll take it and that's it like i ended up getting a v6 mustang which i do have right now and i've done so much to it already if you guys been keeping up with the channel y'all can see all the money i've invested in it all the work i put in it and the horsepower and the sound and all that good stuff guys that i do have going on with my mustang right now um here, here she is she's a she's a beauty man i always get a lot of compliments on her uh, they always tell me is it a v8 i'm like no it's a v6 and i always get a lot of faces when i say it's a v6 so guys i mean don't be ashamed if you do drive a v6 you can have so much fun with the v6 like what just hear the exhaust on like my mustang is like it's just it's so much fun like i'm not even gonna lie uh, but uh i do enjoy driving my mustang like not i i do want a v8 now that i know about like mustangs about parts i don't know like it's just i've grown on, onto the v6 platform i know there's only so much you can do with it but i would prefer obviously now a v8 and I'm, I'm telling you guys right now, if God permits, we are gonna have a GT in this channel. I don't know when we're gonna get it, but we are gonna get one. So stay tuned guys. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, if you haven't subscribed because you think like, oh, it's a V6 platform, blah, 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 V6 sucks. Like, no guys, we are getting a GT. We, do, we are gonna have the V6 platform, the EcoBoost and the V8, and we're gonna be able to like mod all three of them. But I am gonna need y'all's help guys. I need y'all to like the videos comment subscribe don't try to skip through the video because if y'all skip through the video what happens is that the my videos don't get pushed out and the channel doesn't grow so guys i would appreciate the help there and i appreciate every single one of y'all for watching um we're almost at 500 subscribers which is a milestone for me i think it's taking about a year so we're slowly getting there guys i'm super excited trust me we are gonna get a lot of content coming in soon hope you guys did enjoy this pov i'll definitely catch you guys on the next one god bless